today we're going to install a manta ray area velocity flow meter. I have the flow meter ready and charged. I have the ultrasonic sensor. I have the breakout box that comes with the manta ray. In this application I don't expect to use it, but this is to attach peripherals if we needed any. I have Grayline Logger software, which we will need later to look at the data stored by the manta ray, uh, but that will be installed on a laptop. I have some mounting hardware, the mounting bracket that comes with each manta ray. In this installation it will be on corrugated pipe, so I prepared a mounting bracket on a piece of plate stainless steel, and the idea is that I'll be able to bridge the corrugations using the plate so that the mounting bracket and sensor will mount flat. I brought some screws and a battery powered drill which I'll use to drill some holes once I have it in place in the corrugated pipe. Additional hardware, I have a screwdriver. To mount the manta ray enclosure I brought an eye hook. I expect to install it at the top of the culvert so I'm going to screw the eye hook into the culvert and use this piece of chain to hang the manta ray on the chain and secure it all in place with a padlock. So I think I'm all ready for the installation. It looks like a great day. I'm going to get started. Manta rays are often used for sewage or stormwater but this application will be stream flow monitoring in a 2.6 meter arch culvert. We begin by clearing the gravel and debris that has accumulated near where we plan to mount the manta ray sensor. We drill pilot holes in the sensor mounting plate and then use it as a drill template for screw holes in the culvert. We drill another hole for the eye hook and chain that will secure the manta ray electronics enclosure well above the high water level. Now we insert the manta ray ultrasonic sensor into the mounting bracket at the bottom of the culvert. Here is the finished installation, where the manta ray will monitor and data log flow over the coming months. 